Joining us right now is Sandeep Mithrani, the WeWork CEO. WeWork went public by a SPAC merger back in 2021. Uh, it's dropped pretty significantly since that time, its valuation, and it currently has a $500 million market cap. Uh, Sandeep, want to thank you for being with us today because commercial real estate and office uh, workplaces are, are really uh, things that are in flux at this moment. We're trying to get a feel for all of it. What do you see happening right now? Good morning, Becky. Thank you for having me on today. Uh, you know, we are sitting in a very interesting moment. I call it the WeWork moment. Um, the clients, occupiers are looking for flexible office space. And I remember three years ago, when I first came on uh, to be CEO and came on the show, you know, we talked about flexibility in a pre-pandemic world. And as we all know, in the post-pandemic world, flexibility is key. Occupiers are looking for turnkey solutions, immediate solutions, uh, no long-term leases. So it's sort of the WeWork moment. Uh, uh, and so we're seeing, you know, tremendous demand for our space. Our occupancy is up. Our revenues are up. Uh, and, you know, we don't own the real estate. And so we're not bootstrapped by mortgages. We're not bootstrapped by giving large tenant allowances and concessions to tenants. Uh, we're a turnkey solution. Uh, and unfortunately, we are put under the same umbrella, um, you know, as, as, uh, as owners of real estate, where we're actually a tenant and get the benefits of a tenant and are able to provide that value proposition. So what we're seeing today is occupiers uh, are looking for turnkey solution uh, flexibility on cost, flexibility on time, flexibility on space. Uh, and it is almost as if this moment in the commercial office market was made for WeWork. Sandeep, I've, I've been trying to think about all the conflicting kind of pressures that you're facing on some ways, benefits on some sides, uh, and maybe some pressures on the other. It, it, it makes sense that as a tenant, you would have maybe some pushback trying to negotiate better deals with the companies that, that own the buildings you're in. But it seems like you'd also probably have some pressures that short-term leases that people are looking for maybe put pressure on you for some different situations. And I would guess with tech companies cu cutting back, uh, less money around for startups, which are part of, have, have been part of the people who had been going with you before and, and leasing with you before, I, I, it just seems like there's a lot at play. Um, what, what does that mean? Your occupancy is up. Is that up from the end of the year, the last time we heard the numbers? Uh, yeah, our occupancy continues to go up. You know, year over year, our occupancy was up almost uh, 17 percent to 75 percent occupancy. No, our, I mean, since uh, the revenue... end of the year, when we heard it, your numbers continue to go up. You aren't seeing any weakness in occupancy since. No, then? not actually. We've seen an uptick in demand uh, through the first quarter, and the reason for the uptick in demand has been more and more U.S. companies uh, are obviously coming back to work. And to address your one issue, you just brought up about companies that are announcing these layoffs, uh, you know, when you look at the pre-pandemic uh, employment of these companies and look at the post-pandemic uh, employment of the companies, even after the layoffs, uh, there are more employees at each one of these companies. Mm -hmm. And as they're all getting their people to come back to work, they actually don't have enough desks, uh, you know, to accommodate them. So our demand has accelerated uh, in the months of February and March as mm -hmm. people look to come back to work and April and May. Uh, and, and so we see that demand actually going up, not down. Small, medium businesses, which is the other one you just talked about, right. uh, which has actually carried uh, WeWork through 2022 and, uh, and 2023. Uh, we continue to see the small business were the first in the pandemic to, 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 to leave and to go home and work from home. Uh, they have, got, have been the ones to come back much faster uh, and, and take space. So where our leasing activity is almost 60, 65%, small, medium businesses and 30, 35% enterprise, it used to be 50-50. Right. And in the month of March, for the first time, we're starting to see that shift back to 50-50 as enterprise clients are coming back uh, as they've all 